Hey guys and welcome back. Well, if you've ever tried to do a science fiction scene or something related to astronauts or robots, you probably ran into an issue where you had to model a ribbed hose, okay? Now, this is a subscriber request video, so I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. Here we go. Okay guys, well, we're in uh, Maya 2018 and let's get started, all right. So, um, a ribbled hose, okay, like an air duct hose or whatnot, all right? Now, first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create our base shape. So I'm gonna hit the space bar, go to uh, create, polygon primitives. Let's start with, uh, let's see, we'll start with a cylinder. Yeah, we'll do that, okay, perfect. We're gonna hit E to rotate, hold down J as we do that, like so, looks pretty good. And then we're gonna hit Control A. We're gonna go into our attribute editor. We're gonna set caps to zero like this. And we're gonna right click and go to face. Drag select all of these faces and get rid of them. So we basically have this guy left, okay? Now, we're gonna check and see if our pivot point is centered. We're gonna go to modify and center pivot. And there you go. So if I now would hit W to move, you can see that it's nice and centered. Now, we need to come up with a path for our hose. So let's uh, move this over. We're gonna go to create. And let's go to, uh, let me see. Uh, where do you go, where do you go, where do you go? Should be here. Curve tools, there we go. Let's go to the CV curve tool. We're gonna jump to the top, I have to zoom in. This is our guy, make sure we're facing the right way. Yeah, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start here. And what I'll do is I'll hold down X as I do this. So it will snap to the grid. And uh, let's start off fairly straight. And now I'm gonna start to create an angle here. And let's hit enter. That's not too bad. Okay, you can see that it's nice and level with our grid. That's good. It does look a bit chunky though, so I'm going to hit delete that. <clears throat> right, guys, so we're in uh, Maya 2018. Uh, let me close this down here. And we're going to start by creating our base shape. So I'm going to hit my space bar, go to create, polygon primitives. Let's do a uh, cylinder. We're gonna hit E to rotate, hold down J to lay it flat and level like this. I'm gonna hit Control A to open up my attribute editor. We're gonna go in and set caps to zero. And then I can go in, right click, go to face, and drag select all of these. So I basically only have this guy left, okay? I'm gonna select it, go to modify and center pivot. And then we're gonna hit W and move this back a little bit. All right, now what we need to do is create a path for our hose. And so we're gonna go in and we're gonna to go to create. We're gonna to go to curve tools and we are going to use the CV curve tool. Okay, let's jump to the top. Let's see, we're facing this way, which is good. We're gonna start just in front of this guy and maybe it's hard to see for you guys, so I'll do it here. We're gonna start just in front of this face right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold down X so it will snap like this. And initially we're just gonna move forward and then I'm just gonna kind of bend off in this direction, okay? And hit enter. And as we chose the CV curve tool, we get a nice smooth path, all right, cool. Okay, I'm gonna take this guy, I'm gonna move it a little bit closer to my curve right here. Looks okay. And then I'm gonna right click, select this face, shift select my curve, and I'm gonna hit Control E to extrude. Now once I do that, it will want to do a straight line. It doesn't have any subdivision that will allow him to um, move, okay? So we're gonna increase the subdivision level and as we do that, you can see how that is working out for us. And I'm just gonna bump that up a little bit. Let's go with, let's try 40. Maybe even more than that. Let's do 
60. Yeah, 60 is fine. Okay. All right. So now that we have that, what we're going to do is we're going to go in, right click, go to object mode. Come on. Yeah. We're going to go in. We're going to go to edit, delete by type and history. And now we can hit W, move this out of the way, select this curve and delete it. Now we don't need those ends right here. So I'm going to select that and delete it. Flip over to the other end, select that and delete it. And now what we need to do is go in and select those edge rows that we want to have altered. We're going to start at the outer end. So I'm going to click and double click on this. And I'm going to work my way to the other end. All right. And next what we're going to do is we're going to hit the uh, control E to extrude and we can play with this uh, thickness right here just by pulling on that. We're not going to go crazy on it. So let's, Let's do 0 0.2, see how that looks. Yeah, that looks fine. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to uh, Mesh Tools, Injured Edge Loop Tool Option Box, make sure we're at single setting. And we're gonna go in and we are going to add an edge right at the end there. And one at the other end. And you can decide to add connectors at the end or something like that if you want this to be a different type of hose. This end looks fine. This end can go in. And if you like, you can right click at a face, select that face row and delete it. Okay. Now, as we've added these edge rows here, as we now go to object mode and hit three to preview smooth, this is what it will look like. Okay. Now this is a preview smooth. If you want to have an actual smooth, you hit one to go back and you go up to mesh and smooth to actually smooth it. And as you can see, this softens that first edge right there. You can use this for rubber hoses on machinery, for air hoses on astronaut suits, basically anything you can come up with, okay? So that's all there's to it, guys. Uh, if you have any questions, as always, uh, please let me know. Um, it was uh, fun making this for you guys, so uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. Hit that like button if you did, and if you don't want to miss any videos in the future, please make sure you hit subscribe, okay? Well, that said, uh, see you guys next time. Thank you. Bye. Well, thanks for watching, and before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.